Uh, the first one before we sit out, I think it's quite appropriate because it's related to cars. Everything of yours is related to cars. Like, when is there something not related to watches or cars or cameras? Okay, it's not really a question. Amy Wong says, oh, driving and filming, that's kind of dangerous. If I'm doing it at the same time, by myself, maybe. But because the camera's set, I've got this little thing here. So basically, you shouldn't be driving on your phone or driving and filming. You shouldn't be driving and doing anything else apart from driving. I agree with you. Driving and doing anything else apart from driving. So we don't really drive and film at the same time as in like hold the camera. We have the camera set in the car so we don't have to think about the angle or anything. So we just drive and try and capture the conversation for you guys. It's kind of like James Corden, you know, how he does karaoke in the car. I mean, he He's can drive. He's probably got about three more cameras, but yeah, similar. Yeah, but that's a, that's a load of editing to do if you had to edit like from three cameras. And so... Oh, it's too tight. I think quite fat. <laughs> <laughs> Happens during Christmas and New Year's. So that is our first answer to one of your comments and questions. Okay, we're setting out now. And we can have the camera still on to capture all these funny, hilarious moments. <laughs> so last time I came to film here, it's called Tiny. This shop is called Tiny. They have lots of cute Hong Kong toys and Hong Kong souvenirs. These plaques, if you're not familiar with them, they're plaques that are used to label destinations in a minibus. They've turned them all cute and stuck different messages, messages on them. This one's really important. Please don't kiss my car. <laughs> Go grandmama. So grandmama for yes. my mama. And then one for my mum. Go grandpapa. Grandma. For papa. The question was, Christy said, not so much a question, just an observation. Yes. Jason looks knackered. Ha 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 ha. The thing is, I think we shared in the previous vlog that I really want to get up early. I don't want to miss. It can wait. Uh, I'd hate to miss little cutesy things about Damon that happens every day so I'm spending too much time trying to be around at every moment so he's not really giving our son the option whether he wants you around you're just constantly around him and especially over Christmas I've had a little more time the filming schedule has been quite easy going so I've had a good week and a half off so I've just been up and about playing with Damon all the time. I think he's starting to get like attachment issues. Like, no, seriously, he comes out and the first thing he does, so he leaves home, gets to the car and he's like, I miss my son. I'm like, okay. Do you miss him? I know, but like- Exactly. It doesn't help, like, life goes on, you still have to film, you still have to work. She's constantly on her phone checking out the baby monitor. Anyways. Who's got the attachment issues now? Yes. So that's why he's tired and also because when I film I do kind of put a little bit of makeup on sometimes just to not look so tired whereas Jason doesn't so he comparatively looks a little bit, a little bit more tired. Please forgive him and... All is forgiven. All is forgiven. I can, is there a joke guy, Baba? Like the best dad? Because I'm in fact the best mother. Where are we? A little bow. In Causeway Bay. They have one in Central, opposite PMQ, and it's not bad. This is actually my first time at Little Bow, but I've heard great things about it for a long time. It's just that the one in Central, before they have this other outlet, you always have to line up. So, no life today! Yeah, this one's I reckon actually triple or quadruple the size, so yes. we've got a table. Yay. Eva and Lillian made the observation that Damon looks more like me. I think a lot of you say he looks more like me. And I think most of you are right. Some he people say he looks like me. Very few, but some. So we've had a discussion about this and we've made a conclusion that 
Damon's eyes look like mine when I was a baby. And Damon's yeah, his eyes are quite pretty. Nose and mouth. Looks like daddy's. Yes, he's got a bit of a beaky mouth. So his nose is a bit like this. Because when Jason was a baby, he had a really stubby, pinky nose. Yeah, you can't really tell. But when you compare our baby pictures with his pictures now, with him now, he quite apparently looks like me. Did you get anything done? <clears throat> I had braces. It's all genuine. Genuine. <laughs> I'm <now>. genuine. <laughs> No, but actually a lot of people tell me like because Damon doesn't have double eyelids yet. This is a big thing like in Chinese culture. I don't know why everyone's always yeah. raving on about the double eyelids, but I didn't have any double eyelids until I was like six or seven months. No, I have one now and my everyone's got left, double right. eyelids. Left, right, left, right, two eyelids, double. Check out my baby pictures. Damon. Even the cheeky smile. Damon. You know, I think he's trying to be really fair. Like, I mean, half of his face looks like mine. It's not half. Eyes, yours, the two eyes. Nose is mine, mouth is mine, ears are mine. Yeah, even his sex is like you. He's a guy. Sex. Sloppy Chan and the tempura fish. Fried fish. Yeah. They're not really that little, they're quite big. They're quite small. What? It's huge! For $80, it's a bit small. Alright, okay. Wow. He's gotten it all over his plate. Sloppy. Sloppy Chan bow for the not so sloppy Mr. Chan. Yeah. As I was saying. The buns are a bit dear, but they're very tasty. This is kind of like a fusion bun. Big eaters like Jason, you probably need two. Lovely. Out of here. Oh my god, this car looks even better in person. Yes. It's unbelievable. It is really sexy, and the thing is, it's so practical like, so practical that it could be a family car. Buying a Lamborghini became buying a family car. That's crazy. It's bloody genius looks and feels and I haven't driven it yet but I'm sure it drives like a crazy beautiful car my god are we gonna test drive this yes we've already organized it for maybe next week or the week after next stay tuned for the test drive it's but right now beautiful. we're just gonna answer a question here uh, Q&A Chase so Fred has said Jason has a very good taste when it comes to wristwatches it's not just watches cars Wife. Women. W woman. Sorry, woman. <laughs> and... Cameras. Everything. Everything. I like watches because it all goes back to the time I went to Switzerland seven, eight years ago. And before then, I'm sure all your parents or some uncle has a Rolex of some sort. After I went to Switzerland, I learned all these new brands and other models that I'd never seen before and that's when my love for watches began so when did your love for cars begin ever since I was very very little I used to drive mum's Peugeot 106 when I was 16 that was 24 years ago <laughs> look how spacious the Euros is my last purchase from last year Grand Seiko spring drive diver and Sarah has a, an Audemars Piguet, a Royal Oak, 
Very tasteful indeed. It's rubbed off on her. He's a bad influence. It's like, not good, it's not good. Yeah. It's a lovely watch though. It is a lovely watch and it's very classic. That's why I invested in this one. 1970s, Gerald Genta. Genius. Genius. Very timeless design. Never goes out of fashion. So this is going to be a hand-me-down for my daughter. Or, or Damon. Or Damon's Damon can wife. have yours! Yeah. I just got so much stuff. Yeah. Already. That's why you should work hard and get this Lamborghini so you can have it too. Definitely. Uh, Definitely. I'm going to buy myself, uh, I'm going to buy my son a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini Urus. Yeah. We're going upstairs to get it because they have the... Yeah, they have a, a chill-out bar upstairs, so... No, they have a display Urus that's kind of like this size. Okay, let's get a, an Urus for Damon, <laughs> and we'll test drive the adult one next week. Or the week after. The week after. Soon. Yes, Soon. ASAP. Borrow it for fun, for the yeah. weekend. For the weekend, Drive yeah. to China. No, you can't drive to China without, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. drive to the borders of China. Alright, catch you guys next week. See ya! Bye!